you gain so much confidence and so many skills that you wouldn't have otherwise thought yourself capable yeah. of. We try to make functionality and design kind of come together. Sometimes I forget I'm in an RV. I'm just in my home. What's up guys? We are live with Brooke and Curry. I'm Brooke. I'm Curry. This is Ollie. This is Cookie. Welcome to Sunshine Sally, our Toyota motor home. So this is our entryway. We like to store a lot of our books and planners up here on top. I took a lot of what we already had in the house and put it here. Here is our nightstand end table situation. This was actually a plant stand that I had in my home before we went full time in the rig. Also this little bamboo rack, this whole thing can go back and just be aesthetic. Um, but if you actually need them for anything like we do, it's good for that. There's the pup section. This area right here is actually like an entry point to get into the cab. Um, on this side of it, I just did some white sheer curtains. Um, we do have two pups, so we had a baby gate in between it. And then on the other side, we have an insulated curtain to kind of keep the heat out. And then this side is just nice and pretty. So we actually have three max air fans right here. When we're sleeping at night, it can get kind of hot up here. So this is really nice if you turn it on full blast or even medium and it keeps you so cool at night. Um, since we have three, we like to have the two up in the front running to where it's bringing air in. And then the bathroom kind of sucks the air out. So it's making a fan and you get a nice breeze from that. And over here in the bed, all of these pillows, this comforter, everything that you're essentially seeing, I already had in my home before we did uh, full time in the rig. So I don't think this white comforter will be able to hold up forever, um, but we love it. She's beautiful. This is so cozy. We added the boho chandelier here and then the two reading lamps on the side. And we added little hooks here and one here to hold our hats. So we really just wanted to have a really cozy space up here. Every day was the same. Yes, I could keep updating my house. Yes, I could make it epic and have like an awesome vacation spot that is my home. But at some point it was like, is this it for us? Is yeah. this all we're going to do? Because at one point I had custody of my siblings and we raised them and then we went off to college and we dealt with like a bunch of family stuff. And so it's like, we kind of felt like we already checked some boxes off mm -hmm. the list of, you know, to do for life. Yeah. So when COVID happened, it was kind of like, what do we really want to do with the time that we have on this earth? We just decided, heck with it, let's do it. Yeah. Fortunately, we actually had a, a two story home that we spent two years in and renovated and made it a beautiful space. Mm -hmm. We loved it, but we were just adamant about travel, housing market inflated. So we sold the house, yes. paid off all of our debts, and then we drove to West Virginia after scouring Facebook Marketplace for like five months and paid 4,000 cash for it and spent five months renovating it in uh, in a barn basically throughout yeah, the winter. Throughout the winter, it, it was awful. It was torturous, <laughs> but you know, it taught us a lot about discipline and we stayed working out the whole time and it, it changed our mentality about where we were heading in life. It's like discipline can carry you through the hardest situations. We spent about $15,000 on top of that which most people don't have to, no, um, you, but we had it. And honestly, yeah. we wanted to we wanted to ensure that we were boondock ready and whatever situation arose out here, we would be prepared for it. And, and also, I just like to be in a nice space yeah. and I wanted my space to be somewhere I wanted to be. Sometimes I forget I'm in an RV. I'm just in my home. It doesn't matter what you live in. No. Your home is your home. So as far as additional storage up here, we redid all the cabinetry up here, uh, re-insulated the whole entire ceiling. We added new cabinetry handles. We try to keep a nice aesthetic appeal in here. This H is actually from my grandmother and we wanted to incorporate that for our last name, Helton. So that was really cool. 
Uh, here we've got some farmhouse style, modern-ish boho um, light fixtures. And those are controlled via Taptic touch switches and they are dimmable. We added this additional circuitry here. None of these lights existed. There was one RV light here. And uh, I essentially tapped into some 12 volt wiring somewhere over here and routed it to this one and it branched it out to all of these six. And then here we have our futon. So this is an older style. This is the original futon that came in our Toyota motorhome. We actually raised this by about five inches, which added tremendous storage. This is just our go-to place for anything that doesn't have an immediate home or that we don't use very frequently. So, and then in here, we've got our, our drone. We've got a gimbal, our dog toys, their entire bin for anything. They've got pup bags, whatever they need. So on every single cabinet door, drawer, any kind of door. We installed uh, 10 pound pull latches. That way we don't have to worry about swinging doors or anything falling out or you know, you name it, right? And then in here, we've got basically just food. Try to keep it well organized. Any of our non-perishables, we leave that in here. We added a 300 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery, which is regenerated by 400 watts of solar panels on the top. We have a 50 amp Renogy charge controller, which is a DC, DC to DC onboard charge controller for alternator to battery charging, as well as 25 amps for the solar. Some pros I would say to not having a nine to five anymore is that you get to go where you want and do what you want, kind of make your own schedule. Um, a con for me is there is never enough water. So water consumption is, has been our biggest issue. Mm -hmm. There too many times and too many hours have been spent lugging uh, water in any jug that we can get possible, yeah. lugging it from wherever we can and gravity filling it into our tank because we boondock 90% of the time, 99% of the time, truly. So we're never, we never have a city water connection. Yeah. We never have electric. So, you know, those are kind of cons in, in and of themselves. It's just the sheer amount of time that you have to allocate to getting basic resources that you would otherwise have at a steady location like yeah. your home. One of the biggest pros for myself and to her point is that you're not geographically tied to a specific location in this lifestyle. Yeah. And that was really what set it apart from everything else. So the ability to just travel wherever you want, whenever you want, so long as you can financially do so, mm -hmm. um, that that is the biggest pro of all. What else could you want, you know? This is our kitchen. We redid um, the countertops with a laminate kind of marble uh, finish. This is the original sink. We did upgrade this faucet though. I like it because as you're washing dishes, this is only like a one, you know, it's not a two. So sometimes the water fills up and it's kind of easier to do this and get it out of the way than sit it over here. I wish in our build that we would have actually somehow did a leaf top and extra section here um, because we did this ourselves. So we could have used this same material and popped another little thing right here and added a double sink. And then this curtain, we actually made these curtains ourselves. Well, they were blackout curtains. We just bought them and cut them down to fit. And I like that you can open up this curtain and kind of look out the window as you're doing your dishes. It's really nice to just like, even though you are traveling, you're in an RV, you're not in a box. You still can see the outside. Um, our backsplash is actually a stick on tile. We got it off of Etsy. Um, and I just kind of cut and pieced and put it on the wallpaper. This is the original thermostat. We just painted it white. This is the original. We painted it and the stove is actually original. We just painted it as well. We got this um, at Walmart, put these little handles on ourselves and uh, put these little bumpers on and it's Velcroed there. And then here's the stove and we store some of our pots and pans in here. Everything is Velcroed down. This is Velcroed. This is Velcroed, that's Velcroed. We tried to make functionality and design kind of come together. So this is nice and cute and you can also use it. 
This is where we store our plates. Um, we have spices on the sides, some bowls, plasticware, things like that. Here is our cups, more spices on the door, and some of our pre-workout protein powders, stuff like that. And we updated our cabinets, nice fresh coat of white with these black handles. Um, everything has a latch so it doesn't fly open. And then over here is our fridge. This is the original fridge. We just painted this. This is actually a uh, chalkboard paint. So eventually I'll write something cute on there. Um, here is where we store our medicines, the pups medicines, our medicines, everything, all of that. And here is the microwave. To use that, you just flip the inverter on and she's good to go. This is our bathroom. This is our big caddy. Um, a lot of my hair products go in here. Um, and then you come in here to the bathroom and this is our sink. I really love that it's up top and not down in the countertop. Um, the one downside about this sink is that she's heavy. We bought this on Facebook Marketplace and Curry gutted the whole thing, chopped the back off to fit this. And we painted it and laminated this the same way that we did um, in the kitchen. And then he custom built this. So like some of those older cabinets, how they had the fake out one, it was a fake out. So he literally just cut this off and took some pieces of wood and built this up. And I used some clear organizing um, containers for my makeup products to kind of separate that so it doesn't go flying in there. And then over here, we have just like everyday essentials, easy grab items. Everything is Velcroed down. It has to be Velcroed down. As you can see, we updated a lot. So this rig is a 1985 model, but almost everything interiorly has been changed. So I like this shower because if I need to wash the pups or anything, I can do that and maneuver it. We added an extra light in here, the fan right above. So our toilet is the wrap on green toilet. You do have to plug it in, but essentially you just do your business. When you're done, you press the button, laminate it, and you just take it. You just take it, you're good to go. After you buy the initial toilet, that's your only cost is the laminating bags and they are biodegradable. And on this side, we actually added a mirror so that while I'm getting ready, I can just stand right here. I don't have to come around to the other mirror and get ready here. Okay, so inside the closet, we have all of our clothes and my jewelry, my jewelry caddy also goes in there. Literally, I've got like 10 pairs of jeans in here, 5,000 shirts, Curry's clothes. Literally, we don't need this many clothes, but we can hold them, so we do it. Whatever you decide to do on the road for money, that is your nine to five. And so for us, it's content creators, yeah. you know, YouTube, Instagram, and you have to work it like a nine to five. Yeah. No one is your boss. You are your boss. You are your boss. And so you have to make yourself do things for yourself, for your income, for your overall well-being, even if you don't want to sometimes. YouTube and, and Instagram are not easy, right? So you have to understand that you're going to have to put countless hours in and countless efforts in to develop that and eventually you have think of it like investing you know you're investing that time and pulling that from the future so when you get to the future you're going to be making money eventually and yeah. so as you grow whether it's linearly exponentially as you grow the opportunities grow and then the more people you meet the more income opportunities present themselves so if you are someone trying to do this kind of lifestyle, show that with the world, show that with the people who follow you, they want to see it. It's really an awesome, interesting concept to do this and more and more people are doing it. So just to show it, e even the ugly parts, even the pieces that are hard, show it with the world. They want to see it. Be authentic. Mm -hmm. Don't be secondhand. Don't be a copy of somebody. Be you because somebody out there, I promise, loves you. You know, somebody, somebody wants to consume the content that you produce. So that's the biggest barrier is like, can I produce content that people want to see? Will they enjoy it? Well, you'll never know if you don't try. 
And then aside from that, what has actually permitted us to be on the road for as long as we have and to continue to do so is some stock market investments that we had made over the past two, three years. When our monthly income isn't where we want it to be, yeah. sometimes we dip into that, but we do actively trade in the stock market sometimes. So if you want to find us or follow us in the social media environment, we are at Life with Brooke and Curry. That's L-I-F-E with Brooke and Curry. That's the same for YouTube and Instagram. And then we also have a TikTok as well. It's the same on there. Thank you so much for touring our tiny home. We'll see you on the road. See you guys.